sir and my dear friends my name is g srinivas rao and my father name is g sudhakar rao and my mother name is jiuma meshwari and i am studying in diploma second year in ec branch in government institute of electronics sikindrabad east maredpalli and my today's topic is counter type a to d converter and in counter type a to d converter we uh, here the circuit consists four blocks and the first blocks it's a, it's an op amp its ic number is ic741 and in open loop co configuration it works as comparator which gives logic 1 if uh, non inverting terminal input is high more than inverting terminal or zero if non inverting terminal uh, in voltage is less than inverting terminal and here we consist and gate which performs multiplication if there is one we get here clock as output and the up, up counter which counts the number of clock pulses when incremented by one the lsb bits of the up counter are incremented by one every time as it counts the clock pulses and d to a converter in d to a converter it counts the digital output into analog form to compare the inverting uh, voltage with the non inverting uh, input voltage and the operation when we apply here 5 volts voltage when we apply here 5 volts voltage initially it's 0 volts as we know here the uh, voltage is less than the non inverting terminal voltage so it gives as logic 1 as its output so and gate is used for multiplication it multiplies the inputs as there is one will get this clock pulse as output to the and gate of the and gate to the up counter the up counter initially it's zero after receiving the first clock pulse the lsb bit of the up counter is increment incremented by 1 so that it becomes 001 initially it's 0 volts and here the result resolution is 1 volt and it produces 1 volt as we know the resolution is the change in the analog output voltage with the one bit change in the lsb of the digital input data so that here we get one volts as we know the vf feedback voltage of digital to analog converter is fed to the inverting terminal of the ic741 so that the v in here the VIN is greater than the VF, so it produces logic 1. <coughs> and the AND gate multiplies with the 1. As we know here, any input, if one input is 1 and another input is anything, we, we will get the anything as output because AND gate multiplies the required one into one so it's fed back to the up counter so, so it's given as input to the up counter and again its value its lsb bit is incremented by one so it becomes one zero so it gives two volts so again here the inverting terminal we get two volts so the comparator comparates the non-inverting input and this one again this condition only satisfies so we get logic 1 here the AND gate multiplies the clock input with the 1 so that the clock input will given to the up counter up counter again increments and again it produces 3 volts as we know 3 volts is less than 5 volts so again this condition satisfies so we get logic 1 as output again the clock is mul the clock multiplies the, uh, the and gate multiplies the clock clock input with the one 
and gi gives to the up counter and the up counter output is given to d to a converter up counter value is incremented by 0010 now it produces 4 volts the 4 volts is given feedback to the ic741 which works as comparator again this condition satisfies so that we get logic 1 here again and and get multiplies the clock input with the logic 1 and produces cl clock uh, and gives log clock and gives clock output to the up counter again this up counter value is incremented by 1 now it produces 5 volts as we know here when the up counter gives the gives the input to the d to a converter it produces 5 volts here v in is equal to vf so that two inputs are equal at the comparator so it produces logic zero here zero zero will be given to the and gate in first input and the second input will be clock input so anything into zero we we get the result as zero for this case so the up counter operation stops here so that the d to a converter value is 5 volts and here we will get and the operation stops here and the output is taken across these terminals here the 0101 is the output for 5 volts here we given the voltage in the analog form and here we get the voltage in the digital format so that it's called as analog to digital converter uh, as we know in this block diagram the important block is up counter without up counter this operation cannot exist the main part of this operation is out up counter so that its name is given as counter type a to d converter Now the advantages of counter type A to D converter are it's a, the circuit of A to D converter is simple in counter type and it's easy to design and the disadvantages of counter type A to D converter are the propagation time, the time constant here is more and the conversion time is also more conversion time means the if we give the input the output the output giving time is more in this counter type a to d converter and the main disadvantages are here we required in this method we required 2 power n 2 power n minus 1 clock pulses as we have taken here 4 bit 4 bit as we have taken here 4 bit so that the n is equal to 4 minus 1 so we will get 15 for this operation the circuit requires 15 clock pulses which is the main disadvantage of this circuit and the time delay constant of this operation